go. Hey everyone, it's Jenny and Elisa's back. Woo! <laughs> and she is going to share with us a special little box called Kira Kira Crate. I said it right. I always want to say Kira Kira. Kira Kira. Kira Kira. You can add as many Kiras as you want. Kira Kira is actually a Japanese onomatopoeia. 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 That's a ten dollar word, kids. <laughs> but it means uh, it means like sparkle, sparkle. Or... Sparkle, sparkle. No wonder I love that word so much. Yeah. Sparkle, sparkle. So it's a um, it's from Japan Crate. Which if you don't know about Japan Crate, it's a um monthly subscription box that sends you like weird Japanese snacks and candy and stuff. And there's some really good stuff month. in that. And, and some really a, bad stuff in that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've had some of the best snacks and some of the worst snacks in my life. So then they decided to do a um, beauty box, too, um, called Kira Kira Crate, which I have right here. And, and we love our beauty. Yes. Makeup, so, bath products. Going to try any products. of the like, gimmicky, interesting Japanese beauty products that are on the market. They're all the rage now, too. It's like. very like just trend-based over there, too. It's like, this is fashionable. This is trendy. You should try this. But it's and, so different. And it's usually really good stuff, mm -hmm. too. Yep. I like Japanese, and I like the Korean products, too. But yes. this, is, this is all Japanese stuff. Japanese. So do you want to take one out and look? We'll take one out and look. How much is Kira Kira? Crate? It is twenty nine dollars a month. Um, free well, it's shipping. A lot of dollars. Yeah, okay. you get. Um, it is free shipping though, free and it shipping. is coming from Japan. So and you're it does getting take a like bit. between five to seven full size items. So it's that's all full size. So too. that's a bonus, full size. So let's pull out and see what's in this Kira Kira oh, crate. Okay. Box. So I'll go ahead and get this out first. Um, yes. We did some pre sampling just to kind of learn a little bit about what was in here before we cluelessly. Into a video. A, a video. Yeah. So this is um, Lux Fine Fragrance. It's like a, a, not really like a shower gel. It's more like a creamy body a, wash. A creamy sort body of wash. Thing. But it's um, it's Sakura scent, which that's Japanese means cherry blossom. Cherry blossom. I cherry love cherry blossom. They're a big part of Japanese culture. But that everywhere this time of year. That right there is. It's strong. Way too strong. It's made. I smelled um, it and thought I was gonna go into a coffin fit it's like cherry blossom and, and jasmine and it says um composed by world-class perfume experts and it's so it is kind of like it's a pink color too pink so color it's so got this pump on here it's not that it's got a pump that's yeah. a plus and it's a it's a good size you're getting a lot of product in here it's just not necessarily for me it's a little bit strong too strong i like more of like vanilla scents and yeah stuff that's a little bit creamier and calmer and not like not so in your face you don't feel like a swarm of bumblebees are going to come and, and exactly attack you because you've got this on you but it's still it's neat it's just something something to try something to try just, just how try many ounces it. this is i don't think uh, it, i think it says 280 grams because they do everything in grams yeah <laughs> metric system yeah we're American. <laughs> We're from Kentucky. 280 grams. No clue. But it looks like a full size. It's a good size. <laughs> it's a big one. It's a big one. That's a big boy. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. What's next? Do you want to get one? I don't know what I'm pulling out. It's like Christmas. Woo! This is a, of course, a... Uh, what is this? <laughs> what, you mean you can't read all that on here? Okay. It's, it's in Japanese. It's a konjac sponge. A konjac sponge. She told me this, and I just, I saw it, and I'm like, it's all in Japanese. I don't know what it Which is. Which I always want to call it, like, a cognac sponge. I'm like, no, that's a that's a drink. No, this is a kon, konjac? Konjac. Konjac sponge. <laughs> like, konjaku or something is what it says in the... Which, this is supposed to be really good for... Exfoliation? Yeah. Exfoliation. And it's the the feel of it, it's like kinda it's squishy, but it's also feels like it's got a little bit of a, like an abrasion to it. So a little bit of exfoliation, also good for the skin. I just want to dead skin. Just mush it around. It kind of feels like mochi. I don't know if anybody knows what mochi is. It's like a Japanese dessert. It's like a rice. I had heard of it. I just didn't know what it was. Dessert thing. It's it's a stress reliever. Yeah. We just got off work and we're just like, eh. like I need this. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Next up. I'm going to talk about this because I'm obsessed with um, bath bombs. She likes her bath bombs. So I have, this is a bath ball and it's Relacuma, which is. The bath. packaging is too cute. I love the packaging. 
really Kuma is like a little character. It's sort of similar to Hello Kitty in a way. It's something, you know, you just find on everything. And it's a honey-scented um, little fizzy bath dude. It's a bath dude. And bath it's bomb got, dude. Yeah, it says bath ball, but it's, it's a bath thing. ball. It's made with ball. sodium bicarb. It's going to fizz in your tub and smell really good. And then when you're done, it's got one out of these um, five different Rila Kuma figures in it. <gasps> Toy! I was like, I want the little chickadee on here because it's cute. See, aren't these you'll, also cute? You'll have to let us know. Yeah, I don't care I'll which one in I get. The, once, she fit, once she uses it and finds out what it is, I'll post it in the little description box. Yes. Because so I want to use know. it sometime like this week, so we'll, we'll find out. Alright, I'm going to dig in the box and what am I pulling out? Ooh, a face That's mask. perfect for you. I love my face mask. If you follow me on the Instagram, everybody knows that. And this is a soy milk yogurt. It says soy milk yogurt pack. So it, it looks like just your standard face mask on there. But I have a feeling this would be probably good for people with dry skin. I'd say it'd be really smoothing in it. Yeah. So why don't you take that one with you? Haha, -ha, free Win. gift. See, friendship Win. with me has a lot of benefits. Woo! So that's for you, and then you can let everybody know, like on your sheet mask Sunday or something, how that I will do that. How that ends up going. So I have another mask, which is ooh, Fun. very, very different. Um, this is a carbonated face mask, and I don't know if you can see in the picture, it's got bubbles all over her face. There's actually two packets in here, and what you do is you mix those into a uh, like a large bowl. It's a it's a multi-step process. Yes, <laughs> and you can choose how much of each packet you want to put in there to determine the carbonation, because I guess the effect is pretty profound on here. And what you actually do is you dip your face in the bowl. You dip so it, it in the bowl. I guess Ooh. it fizzes all the impurities out of your face. That would be interesting. You're gonna have to let me yeah. know on that how you like it. If okay. it's if it's uncomfortable, if it's soothing on the skin, if it's. It says that um, in the little booklet that comes with the box because there's actually a. Um, there's I probably a should have discussed this, but there's a booklet in every crate that kind of tells you a little bit because you know <laughs> not all of us can read kanji, has, katakana, hiragana, and know what it means. Who has for that? But it says it can cause some redness, so that way you kind of can pick and choose how much of the fizz you want to put in there. But I'm going to have to, like, prepare the whole area, put towels down, because yeah, I know how I am. Because you don't know, because what if it's too too much for you? Yeah, I'll end so. up, like, pulling the bowl down and just going everywhere. <laughs> I'll be wearing the whole wearing thing. The but, thing. Yeah, so this thing, I'm interested to try it because it's such something outside of what we really have ever heard of. Yeah. I've used like a bubble mask, like the e.l.f. bubble mask. Yeah, I've seen a bubble mask too, but nothing like nothing this. Nothing that you put your face in a bowl. And no. Is there anything else? Yeah, I think there's the one left. Oh, yes, yes, there is something else. I thought you'd want to talk about that one because it's so cute. And last but not least is a BB cream, premium BB cream by My Melody. Woo! And it also has SPF of 21. <laughs> so oddly specific. Okay, it's good. It has SPF um, 21. SPF 21. So this would be good to wear when you're outside. We're summertime here, so. Pretty much. We just skipped spring. We did. We usually get all four seasons, but sometimes we get all four seasons in one week. I think we kind of had two seasons because it was like fall and now it's summer. We didn't really even have a winter. No. This past year, which I'm not complaining. No complaints. I hate snow. But um, this looks like a a great little BB cream. Have you even opened it? Swatched it? No. Oh look, it's sealed. So that that's nicely packed. I thought maybe we could do that now. Okay. If you want, you can swatch it if you want to. And let's take a look. And we're see. pretty similar complexion wise. Yeah, we're pretty light complected. That looks a little dark. Does that look dark to you? That looks dark to me. It does, but you kind of splooped it on there, so maybe you could blend it. See, it's blending out. It's blending out. It's blending out. If you want to show them your swatch, that is not very good. But it is blending out, so. There it It is. looked a little dark. I was a little shocked. I was like, that. usually BB creams are a little bit lighter, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's going good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to like this. I like the texture of that. It smells a little bit like sunscreen, but. Nothing too strong. It smells like all 21 SPFs in here. Kind of smells like baby lotion. Yeah, or maybe that's like me. Like baby magic, like the little pink yeah, bottles that yeah. everybody used. 
That was that was pretty cool. That was. So, well, it seems pretty good. You'll have to try it and see mm -hmm. how it wears. But yeah, if you got twenty nine dollars to spare, I know that's kind of a lot to ask for. But you know, if you want something just fun to try out, definitely give this a shot. If you're interested in Asian beauty trends too, it's worth a try. Yep. And everybody, give this video a big thumbs up. Yay! Uh, comment below. Do you get Kira Kira Crate? Any other? boxes beauty boxes that maybe not everybody has heard of and if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel get on it get on it right now <laughs> and so i guess we should tell everybody to have a fabulous day have a decent day a decent day decent yeah yeah bye we gone